Turkey has conducted tests of the latest weaponry for the small tactical unmanned aerial vehicle Songar, developed by the Turkish company Asis Guard. In addition to a light machine gun, the UAV can attack enemy targets with domestically produced mini-rockets. During the live fire tests, eight successful launches of mini-rockets mounted on the Songar drones were carried out. The drone itself weighs 25 kilograms, has an operational range of 16 kilometers, and a flight altitude of 2.8 kilometers. It is equipped with a day-night camera that transmits real-time video. Songar can be armed with firearms such as an assault rifle, machine gun, or 40 millimeter grenade launcher, and is capable of dropping small bombs. For targeting, the UAV uses data from its cameras and a laser rangefinder, and the special mounting structure for the machine gun is designed to minimize recoil after firing. The Jackal drone equipped with man-pads missiles, capable of striking armored vehicles is approaching its first order. The drone armed with Martlet missiles, which with a warhead weight of 3 kilograms can effectively destroy APCs and IFVs, represents a highly intriguing solution that could undermine the standard tactics of using attack helicopters. Taiwan is the first potential buyer, having ordered 160 of these UAVs. At least, an agreement has been made between the British company Flyby Technology and Geosat Aerospace and Technology regarding the transfer of technology and the production of 160 such UAVs, as announced by the Taiwanese company. Combining a drone with man pads for countering attack helicopters appears to be an ideal countermeasure against the standard tactic of helicopters hiding behind the terrain. However, with such an anti-aircraft drone, this tactic becomes ineffective. This type of weaponry potentially makes the otherwise promising development direction of attack helicopters, which can engage targets in non-line-of-sight mode, seem powerless. The family of transformable unmanned systems named Pegasus is offered by Robotic Research. This tactically deployable autonomous robotic system can operate both as a vertical takeoff and landing drone and attract unmanned ground vehicle. The Pegasus lineup is equipped with artificial intelligence that allows it to avoid obstacles and create detailed 3D maps in any environment. The Pegasus family includes three variants, the medium-sized Pegasus 2, the heavy lift Pegasus 3, and the small Pegasus Mini. Pegasus drones are capable of performing various missions in areas inaccessible to other robots and drones. They can fly through upper windows of buildings, land inside, and navigate across the upper floor for exploration. The flight time of Pegasus is 20 minutes, and its autonomy in ground mode extends up to four hours. The Greek company SAS Technology has developed drone Cerisa SRS-1X, marking a significant advancement in unmanned aerial vehicles. This versatile drone is designed to perform a wide range of tasks in both military and civilian sectors. The Cerisa SRS-1X is equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, enabling it to effectively conduct reconnaissance, surveillance, and search and rescue operations. One of the key features of the 1X is its ability to carry and launch missiles. In April 2023, the drone successfully conducted tests launching the Hydra 70 missile, produced by Thales Belgium. This was a significant achievement, as launching such a missile from a small and easily transportable drone had not been accomplished before. It is expected that in the future, Cerisa drones armed with missiles will be able to protect Greece's islands from enemy sea invasions participate in special forces operations, and provide cover for military personnel. These drones will be at the full disposal of unit commanders, eliminating the need to request support from fighter jets or attack helicopters for every mission. The American defense company Aerovironment has developed the Vapor 55 helicopter drone, a versatile and reliable unmanned aerial vehicle designed to perform various tasks in defense, commercial, and industrial sectors. The Vapor 55 features a helicopter-style design optimized for payload flexibility and endurance, 
making it suitable for missions such as infrastructure inspection, aerial photography, public safety, and defense operations. The Vapor 55 offers increased payload capacity and endurance, capable of carrying up to 22 pounds of payload with a maximum flight duration of 70 minutes at a maximum takeoff weight of 55 pounds, as established by the Federal Aviation Administration for Commercial UAVs. For military purposes, it can operate with an increased takeoff weight of up to 65 pounds. The UAV can be operated automatically or manually using a ground control station equipped with GPS, with the option to install encrypted radios or military transmitters and receivers. The Belarusian Armed Forces have developed a drone equipped with an RPG-26 Aglan anti-tank rocket launcher. This unusual drone was first demonstrated in a video, where it takes off and quickly launches the rocket, showcasing its potential for use in combat against armored vehicles. The drone is equipped with four engines that ensure stable flight and allow it to be controlled from the ground. This solution significantly enhances the mobility and flexibility of the RPG-26 making it an effective means for aerial attacks without risking the operator. Billionaire Palmer Lucky and his company Anderil Industries have introduced an intriguing innovation for the defense industry. The high-speed autonomous drone Roadrunner is a new development from the tech defense startup Anderil Industries. It can check potential threats, intercept and destroy enemy flying objects, the new Roadrunner drone is equipped with dual turbojet engines, allowing the device to reach near supersonic speeds, approximately 700 miles per hour. The drone is launched vertically from a climate-controlled nest, enabling it to operate for months in harsh field conditions. The idea is that squadrons of Roadrunners can be deployed to assess threats detected by radar or humans. If the threat is real, the Roadrunner with its warhead can intercept and destroy it along with itself. If the threat is a false alarm, the drone can return to base, landing vertically on its tail. This drone will cost a few thousand dollars, partially justified by the fact that the UAV can be reused. The Norwegian drone Black Hornet is also known as the miniature drone for great deeds. Given its tiny size, it is often called a micro drone which is not surprising for a device weighing only 18 grams. Its design is also unusual, resembling a miniature helicopter. The drone's capabilities are impressive, with real-time video streaming being an extraordinary achievement for such compact dimensions. The advanced electro-optical and infrared vision technologies of the device are among the best, which is no surprise since the Black Hornet is manufactured by Teledyne FLIR. The microdrone has been chosen by some of the most progressive armies in the world. Its revolutionary small size has been highly valued by special forces groups, and it even participated in Operation Herrick with the British Army, where it conducted photo and video reconnaissance of enemy positions in Afghanistan. With a rotor diameter of 12 centimeters, the drone can fly about 2 kilometers at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Write in the comments which of these military drones impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.